Hello everybody, it's me, Andrew, and this is going to be a viewer request um, video answer type thing to the question that they asked. So someone asked me, what do I do? Well, there's, there's a couple questions that they asked me, but the first one was, what do I do if I don't connect with a client? Um, I honestly have to say I've never really had that issue, not because I'm personable and awesome, because I am, but because since mainly I do um, Skype or email readings and stuff like that, I don't really um, have that person-to-person -person contact that would make me be like, oh, no. But there have been times where I don't um, particularly jive with the question that they're asking. So if they have a question that I do not feel comfortable answering, I will, I will, I won't really entertain that reading or the, the, the idea of performing that reading for them or doing that reading for them. However, most of the time I will offer to rephrase their question for them in a way that broadens the, the answers that they can get because when we ask a very specific question with tarot, it doesn't necessarily work out in our favor because we limit the guidance that we want. And let's be honest, half the time when you're doing a reading for yourself or, you know, you go to a reading, you go to somebody else for a reading, you know what you want to hear. <laughs> like, you know what you want to hear, but that's not oftentimes what we get. Actually, the majority of the time, that's not what we get. So that is something that you have to deal with, too, because sometimes people are like, well, you know, I don't particularly jive with that answer. Well, I'm sorry. That's what the cards. That's what the cards say. So it's important to note here. Also, side note, tangent, bunny trail, that tarot is not like a 100% accurate tool. Tarot is like a map. So like I take the shortest way possible to get to work every day. That's just what I do. You know, that's how I do it. You know, there's millions of other ways that would take me around, you know, God knows where, and take me God knows how long, but I know the way to go to get there the shortest, to get there the shortest way possible, and in the shortest amount of time possible. That's what tarot does. Tarot tells you what to do or not to do to get you to the place you want to be at the quickest and the most efficient for you. Now, you can listen to it or you can not listen to it. That's totally up to you. But as far as if I have ever not connected with a client, I want to say no. Um, there's never really been a time that I don't connect with, with somebody. You know, I just I pretty much always just like okay, cool. You know, let's get this done. Yeah, you know, unless they don't want their question rephrased, which I've never had anyone say anything about about. So that was the first part. The second part was what do you do if there is like a let me see, let me check and make sure here. All right, so one part of it was what happens if you draw cards and they don't make sense to you or your client? Well, the way that I see it is if you're truly in your element, if you're truly in that, that space, what you get is never going to be wrong. You know, the guidance that you get is, you know, the guidance that you get. You know, like that is, is correct. Now, you may be interpreting it the wrong way, or not that there's a wrong way to interpret it, but you may be, you know, kind of, because sometimes spirit doesn't, they, they, they talk to us and how we, and how they think that we should understand, sometimes we don't, so sometimes there's like a miscommunication, but the guidance that you get is always correct, so if I draw cards for somebody and they're not particularly identifying with the cards that are drawn, then, you know, that's when I sometimes draw clarifier cards and that sometimes lightens things up and that kind of keeps things moving. However, there are some times where I'm just, we, we sit and we talk and I'm like, okay, so you don't particularly identify with this. So let's delve into this a little bit more and see what it could mean and see how you can um, get the most out of this card. And then the second part of this question was, what do you do if there's just one card that doesn't seem to fit in. Like if you, I actually just finished a reading where, like literally before I started filming this, where they had like these really positive cards, like, yeah, like, you know, 
awesome cards. And this one card was just like, what? Like, what are you doing? Like, what, what are you even doing here? But sometimes when a card doesn't appear to make sense or when a card doesn't appear to um, kind of like drive with the rest of the, the cards or the reading, there's a reason for it. That card is standing out. There's a reason that that card is there. And that could represent something that the client is maybe dealing with subconsciously and doesn't want to admit to their self. But take a step back and look at it and not just like the meaning of the card, but look at the type of card that it is. Look at the type of card that, you know, is, okay, so I have three water cards here. This card, or three, um, three suits of cups. I have three cards from the suit of cups. Jesus Christ. And this card is from the suit of like wands. So how does this particularly mesh with the other cards that I have sitting over here? That's what we have to ask ourselves. And that's where we have to kind of let our intuition play. Because there's always a little string interweaving and interlocking with these cards that are, they always connect. There's always something there. Even if it seems like there's nothing. Really go off of your intuition if the, the meaning of the card that you know doesn't really doesn't really make any damn sense to you. Just go with it. Go with your intuition. Go with your gut. Ask your guides. Ask the angels. Ask anybody and be aware of the very first thing that comes to your mind because that's what it is. And let me see what else was. And so the next one was if your intuition feels right but the cards... Um, your intuition feels right, but the cards say something different. That, I, okay, awesome. I didn't, even know, I didn't even realize that I answered that question too. If your intuition feels right, because there are some times where you may be looking at, I don't know what a, I don't know what a good example of this is. I don't have a card deck. Um, hmm, how do I say this? So, okay, I don't really have a good example right now, but let's just say that, like the symbolism of the card, like the whole meaning of the card could be like let's say there's a there's a um, a bunny, a bunny. We'll go with a bunny. I don't think there's a bunny in any of these decks, but well, there's probably a rabbit deck out there somewhere. So we'll just go with it. Let's say that there is a bunny in the deck or in the card, and the traditional meaning of the card doesn't really stand out to you. It's just like well, what the hell is this card doing here? But that bunny speaks out to you, and you somehow know the symbolism of a bunny. And that, and the, and the, your intuition is like, yes, that's it. Don't get so hung up on the meaning of a card if a certain piece of symbolism is sticking out to you. Let's say there's this card, and there's a rose on the card. Roses are like love and all that kind of stuff. But the card looks seemingly negative. Like, let's say it's an oracle deck. And the card looks seemingly like, meh. But... There's a rose, and that's what you're drawn to. Then go with it. That's the whole point. You know, that's what we do. You know, that is how we. Um, that's how we. That's how we go. We have to kind of go with the flow. So yeah, if your intuition feels right, but the card is just like, eh, go with it. Now, if your intuition feels right, and this card has nothing to do with it, like if your intuition is saying like this relationship is going to work, but you get the tower, <laughs> and you're like, whoa, wait, like, what is this? If you guys are something dripping, it's the air conditioner, it's like right there, so don't worry about it. But, because I, I just, I just remember, I was just thinking that I heard it too. So, if you say this relationship is going to work, but you get the tower card, and you're just like, uh, take a step back and realize that, hey, this could possibly mean that there is going to be something that needs to happen, that this relationship needs to be deconstructed and basically, d not I want to say dumbed down, but like melted and then reformed. You know, that there needs to be a renewal, um, a sense of destruction that brings about a new sense of awareness and purpose. That could be what it means. So look at, go with your intuition. But also look at what the card says too. But intuition is always first. Go with intuition. And then look at the card and say, okay, how does my intuition in this card particularly mesh? And see how that works. Um, this was my first viewer request video. So that pretty much wraps this up. And it was by Angel Healing 
three. So angel healing zero three. This was the question that they asked. So I hope that I did a good job answering it. And if you guys want to ask me questions or if you guys want questions answered or whatever, whatever, if you want me to talk about something, leave it in the comments below. You can email me at Andrew's Angel Readings. Yeah, Andrew's Angel Readings at Yahoo.com. I forgot my own email address. You can message me on my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Andrew's Angel Cards. So you can pretty much get in touch with me any way that you want to. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, what are you waiting for? It's right here. Just click that. You won't regret it. I promise. My website's below if you would like to book a reading with me. I'm at www.tarotangel444.com. T-A-R-O-T angel444.com. That's me. And links to all my social media, social crap is down there. So Instagram, Tumblr, my website, my Facebook, my email, stuff like that. So yay! And so I hope that this, you like this video. I hope that it answered questions that maybe you wanted answered as well. But yeah, so I will be seeing you guys in my next reading, which will probably be the weekly reading, the next weekly reading, if I don't get this Oracle deck that I have been craving, oh my god, before, uh, before then. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later. Um, angel blessing to each and every one of you.